I go to metal yards all over California. Uh, whenever I'm in a town, I'll stop, but I'll go through every single corner of that yard looking for anything I can find. I don't want anything that's manufactured or something with holes in it for drills or anything like I want something that nobody wants anymore. It's the piece of metal that's just thrown away and they wonder why in the world would I buy the hat. More often than not, I'll put circles in a circle pile, squares in a square pile, sheets in a sheet area, and then actually sometimes forget about them and then come back after a month, two months, maybe a year, find that piece and go, that's what you need to be. That's what you're going to be part of this piece. I'll look for patterns and bits and pieces that have fallen apart or gone away from the thing. I'll kick them around, bring them back into a, a unit. Really doesn't matter, it's just really what I'm feeling at the moment. And it doesn't happen all the time. It all started out one day when uh, we were in uh, Fresno moving my father-in-law and mother-in-law from their country house to the city house and I was pulling things out of the garage I found his old welder spotted it grabbed it pulled it out dusted it off and I said hey I want this I want this old welder I took it home and I fell in love the moment I welded two pieces together my favorite sculptor David Smith died young, just at the height of his career. When I first began, I thought that this guy was copying me, and I discovered soon after that I had been working with his sculptures in mind. His work was so similar, and that's what I wanted my work to look like. It's gotten to the point where I'm happy with the look. That hasn't just happened overnight. This is a 13 years I've been doing this, and it's taken 13 years to get to that point. A lot of the people who discover me they, are, they discover me by a complete accident. They'll walk up to my work, turn around, find their significant other, and ask me where did I come from.